and I'm starting every single preseason game. I think I was unlucky not to start the first Premier League game, but I, I came on, made my debut anyway. Then, like two, three weeks later, I think there was a Carabao Cup game in the week. I think it was West Ham. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm probably playing that. But then I didn't, and I didn't play. At me and like Skippy and a few other play in the twenty threes. Then in a nothing game, I've gone to press, change direction, knee gone completely. I honestly I was gutted, but I didn't even know the, how serious it was going to be at the time. Um, I've just finally got to where I want to be. Like I've been working my whole life to get here, and then just like that, it's gone. And in football, things move fast. Like literally the week after I told my ACL. All the first, like, there was a lot of first team injuries, so then like other players got opportunity against like Barcelona on the bench in the Champions League, and all that. But I told you I just got to do things the hard. Uh, I'm in like a positive place now, but that was that was really tough. Like it, it, I've never been like that low before, and it probably pushed me to like motivate myself. Um, but I found like energy and like motivation that I never thought I had. Like everyone else has gone home. Like, I've sneaked around to the academy gym at, like, 6 o'clock to do, like, an extra, like, boxing session or on the ropes or upper body. Like, I really, really push myself. And that's, that's like, why I am where I am now. Of course, I'm not in the Premier League yet, but I'm still at a club where I'm at a championship. A lot of boys would love to be in a championship. Um, so it's just, like, at least I'm on this stepping stone ready to push on to the next one. It is, and it's just, it's, so, it's quite lonely as well. Like, it's just you in the physio room by yourself. But the way I saw it is that, I had no choice but to give 100%, 100% every day because if I don't, I'm only letting myself down. Like, I am where I am now, so i just got to deal with it. Like, if I don't do the gym session properly or I don't do the runs properly or the bike, or even when it's just like, initially, when you can't do anything, you just got to use, like, electrical impulses on your legs. If I don't do that, then I'm only letting myself down and I'm not going to get to where I want to be. So I just had to do it, and I, and I did it, and that's... And I got through it, I suppose. But then you do, psychologically, it's tough because you might have a little gain. Okay, you're walking now, but then, like, another player plays in the first team. You're like, oh, that should have been me, or mm. if that makes sense. If it's not, like, so, but I don't know. It's just one of the things where it's weird now. Like, when I try to think back to it, I can think, I can remember every single day of my injury, but it also feels like a one big blur at the same time. Like, I can remember the first time that I was allowed to swim, first time I was allowed to run. But then it feels like I can't even think, like, remember the emotions that I felt during that time, mm. which is such a strange, a strange thing in my head. I don't know. I can't explain it. I got on well with the staff uh, and all that, um, but they look up, they looked after me. Um, and plus, you got your like your friends, your family, and they're all there for you as well. But it is it's important to have that around you, but. But you got yourself, you've got to be mentally strong because you're the only one in the gym on some days. You're the only one in the physio room. You're the, when you go to sleep at night, it's just you and your thoughts. So you've got to mentally stay strong. But it's always good to be able to lean on some people. Uh, there's a couple of days when I feel really down and I might need someone else just to pick me up a little bit. Um, I think, yeah, in life and in football in particular, with the up, like, there's, there's so many ups and downs. It's important to have people that keep you grounded, people that keep you when you are down, lift you up. People that, when you when you are feeling on top of the mount, on top of the world, that they do remind you that, like, I don't know, you just I guess keep you grounded and keep you humble. And also, it's important for people to like, for people around you to be a reminder of that you are very privileged. You are very lucky. Um, like I'm quite religious myself, so I try and always like I thank God for the fact that I can see, speak, run, jump. Like some people don't even have food on their plates. They wake up in like in like East, in like Syria. Their houses are getting bombed and whatnot. So I never allow myself to go too low because look how privileged I am. Um, 